Yes, we are. And that's also what they're getting. That's a little bit about what we're getting as well. So over the next couple of days, we're watching for the potential to see a lot of rain. I'm talking about five to seven inches possible in some spots, uh, but hopefully that is not the case. Starting out this morning, look at this mostly cloudy as you do head out the door. Make sure you grab the rain gear with you. Even though it's not raining on you right now, you will need it as you go throughout the rest of the day. All right, so getting started, most of us under a flood watch. This is today all the way through Friday evening. So they get you this yesterday, so it's going to uh, be a very busy next couple of days. Here's what's on radar for you right now. This morning, starting off, we did have a couple showers, especially right along the coast. But as we go on throughout the morning, it does look like a lot of this has started to fade out some. So Homa is looking at some heavy rain. That is no longer the case. You can see how it moved through and kind of lost its intensity. And then we are also looking at some on uh, just passing through Lake Catherine, starting to get a little bit of a break. South Point seeing some heavy rain out towards that area, not seeing any lightning strikes at all. And then off to the east, here is what is to come. We'll be watching this as it does make its way closer. So let's talk about it as we get to 8 a.m. So looking at about an hour and a half more from now. We're talking about some very intense rain over the same area. So watch this. That's 8 a.m. 10 a.m. You're still looking at it. Uh, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 still into the same spot. So I would not be surprised if we did get some flood warnings popping up on the eastern half of our viewing area. And then as we get to tonight, still looking at thunderstorms around the area, but a good portion of us will have a break. So it's not going to be an all day rain event. Just depending on where you are, you will get some breaks in there, but it's going to be mostly cloudy and just expect the rain to continue as we do head throughout the rest of uh, the week. Here's what Thursday looks like Thursday morning, starting off with showers as well. So I'll be timing that out for you for the afternoon. Also looking at rain. And again, we'll get some breaks in there, but honestly, the breaks won't matter too much because you still need the rain gear. Your rain is coming right back. So Thursday evening, we may get a break. That'll be helpful uh, for some of the roads that may be dealing with issues. And then Friday morning, again, looking at more rain pushing through. So all this rain, intense rain, over just a couple of days that will indeed bring us some issues. So that's why that flood watch is out. How much rain have we had in the past 24 hours? Not really a whole lot, but as we do get into the next three days, we're expecting those totals to absolutely rise around the coast. Looking at five inches would not be surprised, though, if we did get a little bit more talking about five, six, maybe seven inches of rain. North Shore looking at about two and a half to four inches elsewhere, looking at about four to five inches. So a lot of rain is to come. Uh, use caution as we are going throughout the rest of today. All right, tracking the tropics. National Hurricane Center still tracking three systems and uh, three areas of concern. The one that's closest to us, this one has actually lost some intensity. It was at 50%, then 40. Now it's at 30. Still watching that one as we go throughout the next several days. All right, so your WDSU first morning seven day forecast shows we are in the 80s. I will say by the weekend, rain lessons. Dew points lessen as well. It's going to feel a whole lot better. Deja